Game one National League Division Series. The Cubs trailing the Atlanta Braves 1-0. The only Atlanta hit against Kerry Wood, a solo home run by Marcus Giles in the third. We say Salou looks at a breaking ball, low and away, ball one. Steve, you talked about it in the open, about Kerry Wood and going against this vaunted Atlanta attack. He's been terrific so far, so is Ortiz. Both pitchers outstanding, and during the regular season when these two teams matched up, they scored a ton of runs in the six games. The Cubs averaged just over six runs a game. Lined in the center field, a base hit for Alou, his second and three at bats. Now Ramirez, who has grounded a short and drawn a walk. Through the hole in the left field, a base hit, and here come the Cubs again. Now Eric Kiros. Low ball one. Playing one and one to Carlos, who lined out to center field in the second. Had that bloop single that dropped in front of Andrew Jones in the fourth. The Cubs with runners in scoring position tonight. One for seven. The one hit was by Carlos. With two on and nobody out, that little flare that couldn't drive in the run because Jones nearly caught it. Base hit left field. They're going to hold Alou at third, and the Cubs for the second time in the game had the bases loaded with nobody out. Bases loaded, Ortiz out of the stretch. First pitch swinging, and fouled out of play on one. Ortiz has pitched out of two major jams in the game here tonight. Does he have enough to do it again? Simon as a pinch hitter so far this season a 150 average three for 20 on the year Alou Ramirez and Carlos aboard with nobody out 0-2 to Simon and again fouled back out of play Ortiz upset with himself about the location of that pitch on an 0-2 count. Threw that pitch very, very hittable. He's been nothing short of fantastic once he's in trouble. Cubs down, 1-0. Bases loaded and nobody out. Going away. Remember what he did to Paul Bacco in this situation. Struck him out with a changeup. Would not be a bad option for him on this pitch right here. But Simon, one of the best bad ball hitters in the game today. One two pitch. Taken away, two and two. Well, this is a pitch clearly. Ortiz wants to make it happen. He threw a 2 2 breaking ball to strike out Gonzalez in the fourth. The changeup you mentioned to Baco in the same inning. Struck him out on the changeup. Cubs down 1 0. Bases loaded and one away. Ball one away. Got to put the ball in play. Ortiz a pause, a big deep breath in the 1-0. Down and away again, two balls and no strike. <laughs> Leo Mazzoni can't watch. Not even rocking back and forth as much as he usually does. 
fastball in there. A strike at 93 miles per hour. Baco taking all the way at 2-0. And, and again, another one of those pitches where Ortiz wants to make it happen here. Doesn't want to go to 3-1. and one. And a 2-1 to Baco. He does go to 3-1. and one. With a change up, and Baco would not chase it this time. More walks than any other pitcher in the National League at 102. Wood right there at 100. And two of those walks came by Ortiz with the bases loaded this season. If you're a Cub fan, you're looking for something good to happen on this pitch. Round ball to first, and Fitt drops the ball. They get the out at first. And the tying run scores. The first base umpire made the out call, and Baco can't believe it. Hunter Wendelstadt called him out. Wood hammers a pitch into deep left center field to the wall, and it's up against it. Two runs will score, and carrying Wood, a two-run double in the Cubs' lead, 3-1. to one. You talked about it, Tommy. Both of these guys in the game, as far as the pitchers are concerned, can swing the bat. Ortiz is one of them. There's Kerry Wood's wife going crazy now, enjoying herself a lot more than she was an inning ago. And Kerry Wood helping himself out with a booming double into the gap. Kerry Wood with one swing of the bat. Gives the Chicago Cubs a 3-1 lead. A two-out, two-run double by Kerry Wood has given Chicago a 3-1 lead. And now Kenny Lofton against a new pitcher, Ray King. King's numbers on the season with an ERA of just over 3-5. One of those lefties that can really bring it. Hard sinking fastball in the low 90s. Big leg kick. Quirky delivery, very tough to see the ball off of him. King gave the Atlanta fans a big scare the final weekend of the season. He threw one pitch in Philadelphia, had to leave the game. It turned out to be back spasms. Bobby Cox said he's fine to go tonight. 1-0. Nowhere close. And that's one thing King can have trouble with, his control. And this is where the Braves' bullpen really struggles, especially when you have to get into the pen before the seventh inning. There's no real set roles for the relievers on this team. They've all had a crack at different roles, and it's been kind of a crapshoot for Leo Mazzoni and Bobby Cox. Swing and a miss, two and one to Lofton. Take a look at our in-game box score for the Cubs, brought to you by Midas. Eight total hits in a game for Chicago. Atlanta has been held to one. Baco tied the game on a ground down here in the six, and Wood has given the Cubs a two-run lead. Wood has one more hit at the plate tonight than he is allowed on the mound tonight. <laughs> That's pretty good. A little flare, short center field. Jones coming on. It's a base hit. And Lofton knocks in. Kerry Wood, 4-1 Chicago. Third pitcher used in the inning by Bobby Cox. Right-hander Kevin Grabowski comes out of their bullpen. He missed nearly a month at the end of August up until the final week of the season with right shoulder tendonitis. You have to wonder about how sharp he'll be having pitched less than three innings when he came back. I was so impressed, Tommy, with the jump that Kerry Wood got out there. But, of course, with two outs, he should get a great jump. easily on the play. You know, one time, Kerry Wood had a lot of baby fat on him when he first came in the major leagues. He makes his home out in Scottsdale, Arizona, and Steve, I happen to see him every day during the wintertime working out. I mean, this guy plays basketball, full-court basketball. He's dropped a lot of weight. He is a very good athlete and a big-time competitor. 
Blake on the outside corner, one and one. There was a period of time where he had a little bit of a back problem. The team was not giving him a whole lot of support on his starts. Dusty Baker had a little chat with him and said, look, if you're going to be a number one pitcher on this team, and they've got a couple of them, we've mentioned Mark Pryor. Round ball to short. And for a ball, we'll go to first to any inning. Then you have to go out and pitch whether you're getting any run support or not. Well, he got support thanks to his own doing in the sixth.